Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Galactic Mystic. This is your first time here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today we'll be doing the Divine Partnership Reading for June 2019. Um, I've already prayed over, cleansed, and pre-shuffled this deck. Um, we'll be talking about the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. This is a general reading. And we do all have Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine within us. Most of us carry more of one template than the other. But since this is a general reading, um, the messages may be reversed. So take what is for you. If it's a message that's for you, you'll know it. Leave the rest. And let's get started. This is Divine Partnership. June 2019. Divine Partnership, June 2019. What's going on with my Divine Partners? Cards are ready. All right. Okay. gonna turn this so you can see a little better perhaps I'll move this this card came out okay this is the shadowscapes deck I love this deck Okay. All right. So I see the divine feminine. She is looking at her divine masculine and she's really waiting for him to make a move in some way. She's waiting for him to meet her where she is in regards to her passion. Now he's feeling very joyful and celebratory. He's really happy about how things are going. Um, he wants to share this joy with others, with the people that he cares about, and he wants to include his divine feminine. He wants this complete circle of his partnership sort of integrating into his life with his friends and family. Emotionally, the Divine Feminine is just really offering her love to her Divine Masculine. And the Masculine is receiving it in a very grounded way. He's feeling very generous. He might be planning to um, give his feminine a gift. He's wanting to share his resources, really wanting to create this physical foundation for them. He wants to be the provider. He wants to be her rock, to be like the, the lighthouse in the storm. She, he wants his divine feminine to be able to count on him and not only to be able to count on him, but to feel safe counting on him. Now she's really seeing him as the divine masculine. She's seeing him as powerful, as complete and whole. And she looks up to him. She may be, going to her Divine Masculine for advice this month. Um, there's something that she is after in her life, and she wants to talk to him and get his advice about how she can move forward. And 
the divine masculine really has his mind on his money and his money on his mind. He's really wanting this stability. This he's got all these coins energy going on here. And he's looking towards the future, feeling this he, he's manifesting. He's forming in his mind this future that he wants that is stable and abundant and again he wants to be the one to provide that now i know this is like a traditional value and some of us aren't really into that we're like you know i make my own money whatever you know but you can still make your own money feminine and he can still do his thing around supporting you whatever works for y'all you know every relationship is different now the feminine is really thinking about all of her dreams coming true she's feeling very emotionally fulfilled and she's hoping that this will continue into the future now there is a little bit of something going on in the masculine's mind this is the eight of swords this is all about mental torture like what we do to ourselves what keeps us up at night worrying so he may be worried about this money situation he may be worried that if he can't offer this financial stability that he will lose his feminine or you know something won't be able to come together but this isn't a real thing. This is just thoughts. It's what he is worried about. It's his fear. So really, there's a different, it's important to know what is real and what is just our fear. And if we know it's just our fear, we can change our thoughts, work on manifesting the outcome that we want. Now, the two of you are really looking to the future and planning this beautiful life together. You, the world is wide open. This is, this is really interesting because overall, the feminine is like, yes, this is it. I'm in. This is all that I've ever wanted. This is my person. This is my divine partner, my twin flame, my soulmate, whatever word you use, she's in. And he is in, but he really is wanting to embody this traditional masculine role. And he's looking towards the future with his feminine in visualizing this beautiful life together all the opportunities all the travel that you can do together all the the beautiful home you can have together all of you know the world is your oyster you're doing this together and that's a beautiful thing to be doing together because the more you talk about those things the more you put your focus towards that that's how manifesting happens you know you Put your energy towards that, decide what you want, get the feeling of it, and then know you can have it and start making those steps together. Now, the, the, the challenge is the hanged man. And that's just, you just got to wait a minute. It's not time. You have to wait for divine timing. And that can be frustrating, but divine timing is just that it's divine and when we wait for the divine to open up doorways remove obstacles that's when everything comes together now the relationship dynamics are beautiful we have the world and the page of wands you both feel like you are complete you feel that you are complete as individuals but in this relationship with each other it is the whole package and you're feeling very passionate about it you inspire each other and there's this feeling of destiny and fate and the universe is giving you signs about that or has given you signs about that 
Now, the overall energy is the Fool. Now, the, the Fool card in this deck is like my favorite thing in the whole world. I really wanted this as a tattoo. I think this is the most incredible depiction of the Fool ever. You see, she is in a state of complete trust. There's like not shit holding her up except those ribbons and those birds. And she's like, yeah, I'm good. I trust the universe. I trust myself. I trust what's happening. She has her loyal companion, her familiar at her feet, who also trusts the situation. He doesn't look stressed. Nobody's stressed. She knows that when she takes a step off that ledge, there's going to be something there to support her. She is not in danger. She's feeling free. She's all about the adventure and the journey. And that's a beautiful state to be in. I love it. All right. That's what I have for you this month. Please like and subscribe and share if this was valuable to you and that way you will know when I upload new videos. I will be putting up a Lightworker Tarot, Lightworker and Starseed Tarot for June and you won't want to miss that. Be well, mystics. Big love to you. Keep up the good work.